Greetings, students. This is Pilates 1 Class B. Get your little sitting pads. Make sure you've got your props. You want your folded head support, your, your fo a lengthwise folded hand towel. If you have a TheraBand, have that or a long towel. Rock a little and find your little sitting bones and get right on top of them. Organize in your neutral spine and pelvis and then lift that side waist, lift the front belly like a combing up of those abdominals under the ribs, a side waist lifting and a back pant waist lifting. So we always want the whole cylinder to be engaged. That's your inner core muscles activating. Think of that back pant waist lifting a little bit to get the back side also engaged. Now widen the collarbone. Make sure your earlobe is directly over your shoulder and your shoulder is directly over your pelvis. Let's start with a little roll down here. I'm gonna turn side just in case you need to see. Remember, we're up against our wall. We're gonna be doing that up over candy cane hook and rolling down. And as you do that, keep your sitting bones attached to your pads. Never rock your sit bones off your pads on this exercise. So basically, the pelvis is not moving. So from the waist down. And we inhale, lengthening through the side waist and the low back and the front belly. Not up and over handy cane hook, like a little hook up and over. Now like you're coming over a ball, just slide those fingertips forward. Feel that nice stretch in the back, but keep the abdominals actively braced. Then inhale, roll up against your imaginary wall. And remember your head is the last thing to come on top. I like to think of the head just like another vertebra in your spine. It's just a big one but we always should go back to where your spine is at the end of the roll up. Inhale, nod up and over curve. Keep the belly pulling backward as you curve forward. Inhale, exhale to roll back up to center neutral. Now we're gonna angle to the right diagonal. Inhale, up and over curve, roll to that diagonal. Inhale, nice engaging of the abdominals as you roll up to your elongated position. Shift to the other diagonal facing that knee. Inhale, up and over from the top of the head. And again, not lifting either sitting bone as you roll to the diagonal. Feel that stretch on the one side of the back here a little bit more possibly. Inhale, roll up through the spine and come back to center. Let's take our folded uh, hand towel lengthwise and you're gonna grab it and hold it right straight out across from your solar plexus, the base of the breastbone. Nice straight arms. Check your wrists though, we don't wanna break. I've got my thumb underneath and my fingers on top. And then we elongate against our imaginary wall behind us and we reach forward and up for rib cage arms. Check that you're keeping the collarbone wide, the shoulders down, and now pause here. We're gonna feel a connection from the back side of your armpit all the way through the outside edge of your arm to your little fingers. So wiggle those little fingers. So we want a connection from the back side of the armpit to the little finger. So we shouldn't have a soft elbow like this. We're elongating, but with the collarbone wide and the shoulders down. So think of your shoulder blades on your back ribs, those tips of the shoulder blades sliding down your back ribs, and then forward and hover above the knees. Inhale up, find that connection, armpit to little finger, and forward to hover, adding on. Inhale up, bend the elbows a little sideward, bring the towel just to the top of the back of the head without pulling the head forward at all, and feel that little stretch there, and then glide your shoulder blades down your back ribs as you reach and find those edges of the arms again from the armpit to the little finger and forward to hover one more time. Inhale, rib cage arm up. Bend to the top of the back of the head without moving the head and slide it up like it's going up a wall. Feel the edges of the arms connecting from your armpit to your little finger and then forward and down. Place that towel down and let's do a lateral bend. Reach up, inhale, up and out to the sidewall, exhale. Keep both sit bones anchored. Lift from the bottom waist upward first and then open and down. Inhale, vertical, up and out to that sidewall. My head goes with me. Inhale, lift from the bottom waist. Always is our initiator, the abdominals. These are your side abdominals called the obliques. Inhale, up and out. Hold, inhale, lift to that ceiling to come center 
and again inhale but when we lift we don't mean we have to lift the shoulder right just lifting our side body and up and out inhale lift the side body and open good now we're going to put the soles of the feet together a little out in front of us grab your shins help yourself sit tall we'll do our c curve you scoop and hollow the belly into a deep c curve i'm just barely nodding the chin i'm not jamming it down and then you're going to round forward in the spine stretch over your legs lengthen to that high flat back diagonal to get your neutral on a slant head in line with your spine and back to center careful we don't hunch those shoulders scoop and hollow back into c curve keep that curve as you round forward lengthen from the tailbone to the top of the head in a straight line and come back to center once more scoop and c curve round forward length into that high diagonal and bring it to center all right let's come off our sitting pads move them to the side you'll have your folded head support next to you for in a minute when we'll slip it in roll on your side and onto your back and go into that neutral spine and pelvis lying down you want to make sure that your feet are just a fist apart under your knees and then let's go ahead and use our, our ball or your ball substitute for a spacer. And so we're just gonna put that ball or rolled towel between your knees. Just put a slight inner, inner thigh squeeze on it, just enough to activate those inner thighs slightly, but careful not to tuck. We want that neutral pelvis. And then arms alongside, check that you feel your lowest back ribs on the mat and that we're not jutting that chin up, but elongating the back neck just a little bit. So we do have a little space under the neck and a little teeny space under the waist. Now from your neutral, just brace across your low belly like that saran wrapping, forming that taut kind of trampoline across your front low belly. So there's that little activity that's subtle but deep right across here. And then we're gonna start with our pelvic tilt. So we scoop a little more in that area down below, curl the tailbone, flattening the back waist, but we're not kicking in the glutes too much here. It's, they're more soft. And then roll the tailbone back down. So this is just our tiny little pelvic tilt. We scoop the low belly, hollow it in and under the ribs, curving the tailbone a little off the mat, and then flattening that waist, remember, and then back. One more time, hollow and scoop into the tilt and roll it down. Now we'll start with that in bridge. Inhale, prepare, hollow and scoop to the tilt. Keep curling as you roll the pelvis up, roll up the spine to about the backs of the shoulder blades. Be careful, don't go way high onto your neck and head like this, a little too high. You just want that straight line. And then make sure that we're keeping the ball actively or the towel between the knees so you don't open those knees. And then upper back starts to sink first as you roll down through those bones of the spine one at a time. And the bones are your vertebrae and we're gonna roll down one vertebra at a time. We inhale, hollow and curl the low pelvic area and then keep curling to roll up the spine. Now you're also trying to roll up and down in a straight line. So focus that so we don't get that little side to side wavering. Inhale, hollow again and roll from the upper mid back through each bone of your spine in a straight line. And feel that waist make contact before the rest of the pelvis and tailbone roll down. Again, inhale, hollow and scoop to curl, roll up to the bridge. Pause, inhale, hollow, keep hollowing. And oh, I'm doing a little wavering, I gotta work on that. And then roll down smoothly. Good job. And then when you get all the way to neutral, slip your little head support in. So this is your little folded towel under the back of the skull. Make sure your neck is not under the, on the towel, it's free to float. And then we have that neutral pelvis, neutral spine to start. All right, we're going to take the ball out for a moment, put it to the side, bring your knees and feet together, and move your feet a little bit away from you. 
All right, let's start with one leg lift to tabletop, and remember we're trying not to tuck or wobble the pelvis. Focus the abdominals, that seat belting and saran wrapping. Float the right leg, inhale. Left leg slowly lifts and joins, exhale, legs together. Now we dip the right leg, keeping that right angle in the knee, not decreasing or increasing it, and lift with control without arching your back at all. So keeping everything neutral, dip the left, inhale, very controlled, and smoothly lift, exhale. Good. Now, as you do the next one, make sure that you're pressing that navel just slightly in so we don't let the lowest part of the ribs arch up and sink that front solar plexus point. And dip the left, inhale, and slowly up, exhale. Grab behind the legs, hug in, and give your back a little stretch. Take a breath, inhale, exhale, and one at a time, Place the feet down and put the ball back between the knees. Let's reach the arms up, palms toward each other, about shoulder width apart. And if you took the hands and put them together, they would be right over the solar plexus, that little T point right at the bottom of the breastbone where it gets soft. So that's where they are, but just open the width of the shoulders. And then palms facing each other with fingers extended and then draw those back shoulder blades into the mat. Make sure you're in your neutral spine and pelvis. Tighten the belly ever so slightly just to have it actively working to support you. And then the back shoulder blades shrug up toward the ceiling and then the back shoulder blades plug back to the mat, keeping the arms straight. We inhale, shrug up. We exhale, glide down. Inhale, shrug up. Exhale, glide down. And now keep the shoulders plugged into the mat and reach back to ribcage arms. So we're only reaching back as far as we keep the back shoulder blades and the back ribs on the mat and not bend the elbows and not touch the floor. Just hovering back here. And then back to straight up as if they were over the solar plexus again. Inhale, straight arms, armpit to little finger connection. So think of the armpit up the outside edge of the arm to the little finger and then back to straight up. Then on the next one, reach back again and circle to the side, hovering above the floor and back up over. So it's like a little circle. You reach back to ribcage arms, you circle to the side just above the floor and back over the top. Now we're gonna split the arms, right arm back, left one to the hip line, like a scissoring, and they arrive at the same time at the starting position. Then alternate, inhale, split, one hand to the hip line, one to the ribcage arm position, not going all the way to the floor, and then back up. Once more each side, inhale, reach in opposition, and exhale, back up, and inhale, reach in opposition, and exhale, back up, and then interlace the fingers, and hands behind the head, elbow side diagonal, and we're ready for the ab curl. Remembering not to move anything below the waist, everything neutral below the waist. Inhale, nod the chin, sink the breastbone, and curl there, folding the chest forward. Check you didn't tuck, and then look at your legs. Elbows stay on the diagonal, don't pull them forward. Hold, inhale, and lower the chest, exhale. Inhale, nod the chin, sink the breastbone, fold the chest forward. Check your tailbone is lengthening in the direction of your feet like you had a little fish hook on it, dragging it toward the wall opposite you. And then lower back down. Inhale, nod the chin, sink the breastbone, curl the chest. Now stay, reach forward, grab onto your back legs. Lift a half inch higher. Check you didn't tuck your pelvis. Stay at that height, hands behind the head. Hold for inhale, exhale, and lower down. Let's do that again. Inhale, nod the chin, sink and fold the chest forward. Check your positioning of your pelvis, no tuck. Reach forward, grab on, lift a half inch, check you didn't tuck. Stay at that height, hands behind, and now we're gonna stay here and just breathe for five counts. Five, keep breathing, four, three, two, one, and smoothly lower down. Now we do ab curl with rotation, keeping the lower half from the waist down perfectly quiet. 
inhale knot the chin sink the breastbone curl now stay in ab curl and pivot to the right diagonal center pivot to the left diagonal center pivot to the right diagonal center pivot to the left not moving anything below the waist center and lower down one more time starting to the left first inhale knot first you just ab curl center check your position pivot to the left and center exhale to the right very small movement exhale to the left and center exhale to the right center hold inhale and lower exhale good job and now we're going to go right away into our hundred we'll do a set of 50 little tiny break and another set of 50. remember we're in that ab curl but at any time if your neck starts to fatigue you'll put it down continue pumping breathing and lift your chest again when you're ready at no time should you be looking at the ceiling when you're doing the hundred you're always focusing in the direction of your legs all right so in your neutral pelvis brace those abdominals inhale nod the chin sink the breastbone to curl the chest forward reaching the arms off an inch or two pump and breathe inhale two three four five exhale only the arms moving nothing else inhale two three four five exhale two three four five inhale two three four five exhale two three four five inhale two three four five exhale two three one more set inhale two three four five exhale two three four fifty lower the chest and arms roll the head a little side to side now check your position again engage abdominals and now we do another set inhale nod the chin fold the chest forward reach the arms pump inhale two three four five exhale two three four five inhale two three four five exhale two three four five inhale two three four five exhale two three four thirty inhale two three four five exhale two three four forty inhale two three four five exhale two three four and fifty lower down roll your head a little side to side all right let's do our half roll back so we're going to roll to our side come to sit sit in the center of your mat move your feet a little forward so they're not jammed up keep the ball between the knees grab behind the high back legs close to that fleshy part underneath the high leg the legs closest to the pelvis area now I want to be like I'm against my wall and the tendency here is to be a little slumped so check you're lifting that back pant waist and getting right on top of your sitting bones then ear over shoulder shoulder over pelvis and again don't pull your legs in close you want them out a little so that you can get in your neutral for the half rollback we're doing our C curve capital C backward and then deepening it never go so far that you flatten the back or pop the feet up always in control always good positioning inhale prepare lengthening exhale hollow and go into that slight pelvic curl now check your shoulders nod your chin just gently keep pulling the navel toward the back waist as you deepen in a little more of a curve backward like you're a little scooped out rowboat then pull the navel backward as you curve your spine up and over your legs like a wheel coming over your forehead ends up towards your knees and then you rock on top of your little sitting bones underneath start unraveling your spine upward to find your neutral against your imaginary wall inhale hollow and scoop into c curve careful not to hunch the shoulders deep and exhale rolling back hold inhale belly pulls back as you curve the spine up and over rock on top of sitting bones use your arms to help you elongate back to neutral one more inhale hollow and scoop exhale roll back hold inhale navel toward the back waist exhale rock onto sitting bones and lengthen to sit tall let's roll back down on our back now we'll remove our ball and grab either your TheraBand or if you don't have a TheraBand, remember, you can use a long bath or beach size towel that you've link folded lengthwise and then you're just gonna twist it in opposition. Okay, so leg circle, we're gonna start with the band over the center of your right foot 
and then you're not choking up. We want it fairly loose, just enough tension to give you that itty bitty bit of, of support. So don't think of it like a stretch. I'm anchoring my elbows alongside me on the mat, and then I just have that little bit of tension. Now, the bottom leg can either be straight, or if it feels like it's easier for you to keep your neutral with it slightly bent, that's fine. The top leg should be in a position where I can be in neutral, remember. I don't want to bring it way close and tuck. So I want to draw the tailbone in the direction of the wall opposite me and get into my neutral, even if my leg has to move forward. And then, once I've established my starting position, just check and engage your abdominals and draw the back shoulder blades into the mat and widen the collarbone. The only thing moving here is the top leg. Try not to wobble your pelvis side to side, remember. So anchoring that pelvis by using those nice braced abdominals here. Starting across the body, a small circle, inhale, circle, exhale, pause at the top one. Inhale, circle, exhale, pause two. Quiet pelvis, exhale, up three. Inhale, exhale, up four. Inhale, exhale, one more. Inhale, exhale, pause, and reverse. You go out away from the body a little bit, down, around, across, and up. Inhale, exhale, up two. I'm trying not to move my pelvis at all. Three. Inhale, very fluid, and four. Inhale, exhale, one more. Inhale, exhale, and pause. Bring your bottom foot in carefully. Switching out carefully so as not to let the band pop you in the face. <laughs> you stretch back out, and again, I have to adjust my top leg where I can get into my neutral pelvis. Again, either slightly bend or extend your bottom leg. Check your upper body. We don't want to be hunching the shoulders. And check your tailbone lengthening in the direction of the bottom leg. And now we're going to start across the body slightly. And inhale, circle, exhale, up one. Inhale, exhale, up two. I like the image of kind of swishing through water. Three. Inhale, exhale, up four. Inhale, exhale, up five. Last one, exhale, pause six. Reverse, out a little, down, around, and up. Focusing on a quiet, neutral pelvis. Two. Inhale, exhale, using that breath coordinating it with your circle, and four. Inhale, exhale, one more. Inhale, exhale, and pause. Slightly bend the knees, release your band to the side, and let's just rub those hands out a little bit. Okay, roll to your side, come to sit, and we're gonna do our rolling like a ball. So remember on this one, you're pulling the legs in close and C-curving and rounding your spine, but you want to be in as tight of a ball shape as you can get. So if my legs are way out like this, it's going to be hard to do the exercise. So the ideally you grab a hand on each shin and use those arms to help pull you in. But if this is difficult, go behind your back legs and pull in. That's okay too. It takes a while to get the hang of this and then pull the navel in, gently draw the shoulders down, and you're nodding the chin, but don't jam it down. Now, you should be a little behind your sitting bones in this exercise. You're not on top of them. And then just slowly start to make sure you're balanced to pick your feet up and find this ball shape in a balance. This is your prep, and you can just hold here if you're not ready to roll, but try the roll at least once or twice. And when we roll, the important thing is not to look at the ceiling because then your head goes back and you can't come forward again. Keep your focus on your belly as you roll and try to keep a nice C curve in your spine throughout. So you deepen your belly first, you lead from your tailbone, you only roll to the upper mid back, never onto the head or neck. And you exhale to roll forward. We inhale, roll, exhale forward, hold for a little balance. And again, roll inhale, exhale, and hold. Now, a little trick in case you're struggling. You can take your towel lengthwise under the back legs, grab underhand grip on either side, and use the towel to help give you leverage to keep those legs in tight. And then when you're rolling forward, pull on that towel. 
So I inhale and I pull on my towel and that helps me keep my round shape to come forward. So if you're really struggling with this, try the towel under the legs, pull, it, pull on the towel, and especially when you're rolling forward, keep pulling on the towel and that will help keep you in your ball shape. So that's a way to start feeling that positioning in case you're struggling with it. Let's do one more. Ready and inhale exhale and let's do one more and inhale exhale and pause feet down open the knees and just round over your legs take a deep breath exhale roll up and we'll scoot to the center of our mat and roll back down on our back and you can use your head support right into our single leg stretch Reminder that we're keeping our neutral pelvis and our legs are in our tabletop 90-90. So go ahead and get there one leg at a time. And I'm gonna cue you into ab curl and then we're gonna be switching those legs smoothly maintaining ab curl. Inhale, nod the chin, sink the breastbone curl to look forward and check your tailbone down. Don't pull the knees in close, that will make you tuck. You're lightly touching. Now straighten your left leg as your both hands go to the top of the right knee. My leg's on an up diagonal. Don't take it too low. Now simultaneously switch and switch. Exhale, switch. And notice I'm not moving anything in the body or the trunk. I'm just moving the legs. The torso does not move. Exhale, exhale. Two more, exhale. Exhale, bend both legs. Lower the chest and hug in. Rock your pelvis a little side to side. That was single leg stretch. Now we're gonna do the double leg stretch prep. Move the legs to tabletop, lightly touching behind the legs. We will ab curl as we simultaneously straighten the legs to that little turned out Pilates V. The Pilates V, your heels are together and your toes are apart. I'm gonna turn again so you can see. So this is the positioning of your feet and when we do that, you're in an ab curl, but don't pull on your legs. To, that would cause you to tuck. You're just lightly touching. So one at a time, tabletop, lightly touch behind. Inhale, prepare, nod the chin. As you ab curl, straighten the legs to Pilates V. Look towards your legs. Now let go for just a second. Bring the arms alongside like the 100 position. Lightly touch again and bend and lower the chest. Inhale. Nod the chin, ab curl, straighten the legs to Pilates V. Keep the legs there as you stretch the arms alongside. Touch behind again and lower and bend the legs. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, nod, straighten the legs to Pilates V. Arms alongside, touch behind and bend and lower. This time hug all the way in and rock a little. Crisscross prep. Place the feet down one at a time, move them a little bit away from you. Interlace your fingers behind your head. We're gonna be doing the ab curl with rotation, but as we rotate, we'll be lifting one leg at a time to that tabletop, remember. Remember, no wobbling in the pelvis as you do the picking up of the legs. So concentrate on the low abdominals, keeping your pelvis very quiet. We prepare first, inhale, nod the chin, and exhale, ab curl. Now stay in ab curl. As you pick up the right leg to tabletop, twist to the right diagonal, but no movement in the pelvis, and back to center as you put the leg down. Twist to the left, picking up the left leg, and back to center as you put it down. Pick up the right, exhale, put it down, inhale. Pick up the left, exhale, put it down, inhale, and lower the chest. We're gonna do that one more time. Inhale, nod the chin. Sink the breastbone to curl, look forward, check your positioning. Pick up the right, twist to the right, exhale. Put it down, inhale. Pick up the left, exhale. Put it down, inhale. Pick up the right, exhale. Put it down, inhale. Pick up the left, exhale. Put it down, inhale, and lower the chest. All right, let's roll on your side come to sit. Now we're going to be doing our basic back extension and some leg hip extensions. So we're going to be on our stomach. Be sure on this one to follow my cues in terms of your setup. The setup is very important. 
and always 90% of the um, success of the exercise is the positioning. So we're laying on our stomach. I like to use the towel with the hands crossed on the towel and then adjust it so you can place your forehead on your hands. I want the legs together parallel and the tops of the feet on the mat. Don't tuck your toes under and then try to lift the kneecaps just ever so slightly away from the mat so they're really extended. Then pelvic triangle is on the mat. So that means your two front pelvic bones and your pubic bone, you're aiming to get them in the same plane and that plane now is this mat. So you're gently elongating so that and lifting the navel so that your bones can move toward the mat, those pelvic bones. And then you're very active through your body. So already I feel lots of muscles kicking in just to support my positioning. Draw your shoulders away from your ears to make sure we're not collapsing our upper core. So keep those shoulder blades gliding down. And now we're just gonna bring the right leg one or two inches off the mat without bending the knee at all and without lifting the pelvic bones. And then you're gonna pulse for 10. One, two, no movement in the pelvis. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, lower the leg and float the left leg one or two inches off the mat only. Do not lift the pelvic bones and pulse one. Straight knee, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. lower. Turn the legs to Pilates V and then separate those heels about two inches apart. A slightly open V. Check your pelvic triangle on the mat. Lift your navel away from the mat. Draw your shoulders away from the ears. Keeping your forehead on your hands, hover the upper back head and arms off the mat an inch or two, still looking at your mat. Inhale and lower down, exhale. Upper back, inhale, lifting and lower, exhale. Now just the legs together, both legs lift a few inches and lower, and again, both legs lift and lower. Now the upper back and the legs together, but very smoothly, and again, this is not a big movement. It's just a few inches off the mat, but we're doing both ends, so we're kinda like in a bow shape. So here we go. Inhale, hover both ends of the body off the mat, forehead on your hands, and lower down. Don't collapse when you lower down. Keep your energy and your muscles active. Inhale, hover, and exhale, lower. Now bring your hands by your ribs. Using your abdominals, push up and back and sit your hips to your heels for a rest position. Arms extended, forehead toward the mat. I like to have knees apart, toes together, especially if you have knee issues. And if this bothers you, you can always put a pillow between your shins, uh, your calves and your back legs. Put a pillow right in there and that brings you up a little, but you can still relax over. And that takes pressure off the knee. Now roll up to your four point kneel position. And this is where our hands are right under the back side of the armpit. So we have that connection from the armpit to the little finger and their shoulder width apart. The knees are a fist apart and the knee is right under the crease of your hip socket. You want your back elongated in its neutral. So I have a tiny little curve at the low waist, but I'm not exaggerating it. Now making sure you're not putting strain on the wrist, you have to lift your breastbone away from the mat and take your head so that you're looking about a foot and a half forward of your hands so you're not looking straight down and dropping your head. So check that alignment. Now once you're in good alignment, we're gonna do our flying table. Your right arm and opposite left leg glide out smoothly and lift in line with your spine. Hold for five, breathing four, three, two, one, and without wobbling, if you can help it, slide back in and reestablish your position. Then your left arm, right leg glide out in line with your spine and hold for five, four, tight belly, three, two, one, slowly return to your positioning. 
round your back toward the ceiling, cat stretching, cat stretch, and hollow and scoop. Then both ends of the body lengthen away in opposition, so you return to neutral. Cat stretch, rounding toward the ceiling, exhale, head goes down, and tailbone and the top of the head lengthen in opposite directions as you return your spine to neutral. One more cat stretch, round, and then sit back to rest position again. Take one more breath, inhale, exhale, and one more time, find your four-point kneel. Now, from this perfect little position, tuck your toes under. We're gonna keep our flat back neutral and head in line and just hover the knees. And when I say hover, just barely off the mat an inch or so. So hover the knees one or two inches off the mat and hold for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, knees down, untuck toes, round into cat, and sit back one more time. Deep breath. Roll up. All right, sitting, facing so that your legs are in front of you. Open them apart, the width of your shoulders or your yoga mat, and hands on your legs. You're gonna lift up your front body, lift up your back body against your imaginary wall so you're in your neutral pelvis and neutral spine. And if you have trouble getting up on the sit bones with the legs straight, bend them, bend your knees ever so slightly, but keep your heels on the mat and your knees and toes toward the ceiling so we're not flopping open. All right, and I'd rather you bend the knees and be upright in a good neutral than to be straight legs and hunkered back. Then we're gonna do our spine stretch. So this is that up over forward curve. I'm not going back at all. So from the top of the head, you lengthen Inhale, nod up and over like a candy cane hook and slide your arms along your legs as you curve forward, coming like you're over, coming over a ball in front of you. So you're not laying on your legs. You're not hinging, meaning you're not just leaning forward. It's an up over curve to come over your legs. And so we wanna pull the belly backward as we're curving forward, but keep your sit bones anchored on the mat. They don't lift and your pelvis stays neutral against the wall behind you, you're not really tipping it. You're keeping the anchoring of the sitting bones. And then you roll up against your imaginary wall, so your head is the last thing up. Inhale, up over curve, slide the arms forward, hold, inhale, roll back up, exhale, and stack those bones, head is last thing up. One more, inhale, up over curve, exhale, inhale, and roll back up. Now keeping your neutral seated, bring your palms together in the center for the saw. We're taking the opposite hand to foot. So left hand to the outside of the right little toe, and you're doing that same up over curve, but on a little bit of a diagonal. And as you do that, you simultaneously swing the right arm back and look slightly down and back, and you Keep both sit bones anchored on your mat. Then roll back up as you bring the arms back together in the center in your neutral. Then right hand to the outside of the left little toe, look down and back, and keep your sit bones anchored on both sides, and then roll up and bring it back to neutral center. Exhale to the right little toe, and inhale to center. Exhale to the left little toe, inhale to center. Exhale to the right, inhale to center, exhale to the left, and to center. Now, we're going to take, with the palms forward together, the right elbow. Pull it back as you twist to the right, but don't lean back. We pull the right elbow and twist to the right, looking to the right. So my twist is from above the waist. And then you bring the palms together and come back center. Pull the left as you twist to the left, but keep very vertical in your body. Don't lean back and come to center. Twist and pull and back to center. And twist and pull and back to center. Inhale, up and over curve, and let's hold for a stretch. Take a deep breath. Exhale, roll up and shake your legs out. 
Bend your knees and roll on your side onto your back. No head support for this one. Head flat on your mat. Bring your knees and feet together, arms alongside. Neutral spine and pelvis with your feet right under your knees. So don't take them out too far here. We want them right under your knees. We're gonna do a bridge and stay in bridge for some little foot hovers. The object when you get into the bridge is to stay level in the bridge and not let the pelvis drop or tip to one side. So we inhale, prepare. Pelvic curl like we did in warm up. Roll up to your straight line bridge, but the legs are now together. We're gonna take the right foot one or two inches only off the mat, just to hover above the mat without changing the trunk and put it back down. The right foot lifts again, just hover it an inch off the mat. Don't drop the pelvis and put it back down. The right foot hovers again, don't move anything, put it down and sink the upper chest and roll through the spine. Make sure your waist makes contact on the way down. Other side, we curl first, hollow and scoop, roll up to your straight line bridge. Now your left foot just leaves the floor one or two inches. You can see I'm barely lifting and back down, but nothing changes in this trunk area. Lift it again, just barely and back down. And again, inhale, hover it and back down and then sink the chest. Roll down bone by bone and return to neutral. One at a time, lift the legs and grab behind, hug in. While you're hugged in here, cross your ankles. Open your knees diagonally, the width of your shoulders. So you're in a little bit of turnout. Then move that little cross-legged turnout position into tabletop. So my ankles are crossed, my knees are bent in a 90, but the knees are open the width of my shoulders. Arms alongside on the mat, check you're in neutral pelvis. This is rollover prep. We're gonna start with our low belly near the pubic bone, start scooping and curling the pelvis, rot rolling to the waist or slightly above it, but I'm not using my legs to help me and then roll down. So don't swing with your legs, they're just your dumbbells. They're giving you resistance. They stay in their positioning and they go along for the ride. You're not using your legs to help you at all. We, it's all abdominals. We scoop the low belly, we curl the pelvis toward us. We exhale and roll it back down with control. So we don't just plop down, we control the roll back to neutral. Inhale, exhale, curl to the waist if you can, and then roll it back down. Really smooth. So I use my abdominals in both directions. Inhale, scoop to curl and then hold, inhale, and then start rolling down using the belly to decelerate the descent so you're controlling it all the way to neutral. Inhale, scoop and curl. Again, this is rollover prep and roll back down. Now, interlace your fingers, hands behind the head, extend your legs to Pilates V. They can be either straight up or slightly forward, but you want your tailbone down. Now we're going to do openings. We flex the feet. You separate the legs apart. They're still in that little bit of turnout. And then you squeeze the legs up together. Now let's go into ab curl. Nod the chin and lift. Now stay in ab curl. Check your tailbone down and do the same thing. Open, inhale, and inner legs squeeze together to connect the heels. Open, inhale, exhale, squeeze together and open, inhale, and exhale, squeeze together, bend the knees, grab behind the legs, and lower as you hug in. All right, place the feet down one at a time, roll to your side. We're going into side line. Grab your head support, and we're gonna stack up on one side in a straight line from your head to your toes. The bottom arm is extended, palm toward the ceiling, and then slip your head support between your head and arm and kickstand your top hand close to the body. Make sure your feet are lined up with the front side of your pelvis. If the feet are behind you, that can put strain on your back, remember? So make sure you look, and if, you're, if you can't find your feet, then they're too far back. <clears throat> make sure they're lined up here. Then check your head alignment, so now replace your head so it's not torqued, and kickstand. Draw your top shoulder down, lift your front belly, and lift ever so slightly under your bottom waist. So those side obliques are active here. Top leg to hip height. So when I say hip height, I mean literally the bone 
of your pelvis. Never go way up here. When I say hip height, we're talking right in line with your pelvic bone. So see, it's not very high. Then the bottom leg goes to it, so your ankles are together for a second, and both come down with control. Top leg inhale, bottom leg exhale, slowly down. Top leg inhale, bottom leg exhale, slowly down. One more, top leg inhale, bottom leg exhale, and lower. Now keep the ankles and legs together like you're rubber banded. If you're having trouble bringing your ankles together, you can put a little hand towel in between your ankles so you have something to snug on. And now squeeze both legs up, exhale, and lower with control. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Squeeze up with your abdominals tight, trying not to wobble your pelvis. So I'm trying to keep my pelvis on its side very stable. So remember, a lot of our work in Pilates is about stability, not just movement. Reach the legs opposite you and lower, and then stay in your lift, and the bottom leg lower and lifts to the top leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, hold, eight, and lower. Bend both legs to a 90-90, like a chair position, so your shins are parallel to the edge of your mat, and your knees are in line with the crease of your hip. Then take the top leg again straight out in line with your top pelvic bone parallel. Flex that top foot and we're ready for the side kick. You take the leg forward smoothly, exhale, exhale. You point the foot to go just barely behind the pelvic bone, not so far that you rock back. And then repeat, flex forward, exhale, exhale. It's like a pendulum swinging forward and back, but always with control. Exhale, exhale, reach point back, inhale. You're staying at the same height, hip bone height throughout, and reach. Exhale, exhale, inhale, reach. One more, exhale, exhale, inhale, point, reach, and take it straight out again for a tiny circle forward for four, three, two, and one, reverse direction, and four. Trying not to move the pelvis, two, and one, bend, and lay it down. Push to sit, grab your head support, swing your legs to the other side, and stretch out on your other side. Stretch out in a straight line, bottom arm extended, palm up, head support between arm and head, kickstand your top hand close to the body, Draw your top shoulder away from the ear. Make sure your legs are lined up parallel with the front side of your pelvis and that the legs are already active. The knees are fully straight. And we take the top leg hip bone height and the bottom leg to it and both come down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, bottom leg to it. Both come down. Top leg inhale, bottom leg exhale both slowly down. We always control it in both directions. Top leg, squeeze up bottom leg, both legs control down. Last time, inhale top leg, exhale bottom leg, hold it, and lower down. Keeping the ankles together, lift and hold, and lower with control. Exhale, squeeze up, trying to keep the pelvis stable on its side. Exhale, lift, Inhale, lower with control. So I never just drop the legs, always controlling it in both directions. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower two more. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Now on the next one, lift and stay. Bottom leg beats to top leg. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hold eight slowly down. We roll onto our stomach. Cross your hands and forehead on your hands like we did earlier with your legs together. Make sure your pelvic triangle is planted on your mat, navel lifted, shoulders drawn away from ears. Tops of the feet on the mat, kneecaps lifted. We're going to bend the right knee flexing the right heel towards your glute, but be careful when you do this not to pop your pubic bone up off the mat. Keep your pubic bone on the mat. Do a tiny pulse contracting the hamstring on the back leg and then point the foot and place it down 
we never slam it down, and then flex the left heel toward the left glute, a tiny pulse without lifting the pubic bone, and point the foot to place it down. We're gonna do that just a little bit quicker. So we flex, pulse, point down. Alternate, flex, pulse, point down. You go exhale, exhale, point down on the inhale. Exhale, exhale, inhale. Flex and pulse and place it down, point. Flex and pulse. This is called single leg kick. We're doing the prep. Exhale, exhale, stretch. One more, exhale, exhale, stretch. All right, now go to the Pilates V, heels together, and separate that V again in a slightly open V. Extend your arms above you, a little bit about shoulder width or a little wider than shoulder width, palms toward the floor. Tighten your belly underneath. Now we're gonna lift the right arm and opposite left leg off the mat. Without moving the middle of your trunk, just switch arm and leg, left arm, right leg. Switch, trying not to wobble, switch. This is swimming prep. Switch, switch. Now try to go a little quicker and switch, 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 switch. So you're fluttering the arms and legs without moving the middle of your trunk. And then a little quicker if you can. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, and rest. Hands by ribs, using your abdominals, press up and back, round your back, sit back to that rest position and take a couple of deep breaths. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Roll up to your four point kneel. Find that perfect four point we did earlier. Now the only difference on this one is we're gonna walk our hands a little forward, about a foot or so, and then bring your shoulders over your hands, moving your hips between your knees and shoulders. I want a straight line from your head to your knees. With most of your weight, yes, is on your upper body. This is our partial plank or partial front support. In Pilates, we call it front support. And we wanna not sag, so lift your breastbone away from the mat. And if this bothers your wrist, go ahead and sit back to rest position. Remember, if it bothers your wrist, you can roll your yoga mat to have a little fold so that you can put your uh, heel of your hand on the front edge of the fold to take pressure off the wrist. You can also use a towel to do that. So if it bothers your wrist too much, you can do that. But remember, if it, your wrist is being bothered, it's because we're weak in the mid-back. So we want to really lift that breastbone away from the mat. All right, so now roll up. And we're going to finish off with some squeezes and then some stretching. So grab your ball or your substitute for the ball. Have your TheraBand right next to you as well. And we're going to roll back down on our back. You can use your head support to start, and then you go into your neutral, knees bent, and place the ball between the inner legs, just about at the knee or slightly above it, and then arms alongside, neutral spine, tailbone lengthening, feet right under the knees. We're gonna uh, bring the feet a little closer than a fist apart, actually. We're gonna bring them almost touching, so uh, we have a little more pressure on the ball. Then remember when we're doing our presses, our squeezes, we do not wanna tuck. So the, the thing you have to be aware of as you're doing this is not to rock your pelvis, right? No rocking or curling the tailbone. So no tucking at all. So we squeeze inward on the ball and hold for five, not tucking, four, three, two, one, release. Squeeze and hold. Two, three, four, five, release. Squeeze and hold. Two, three, four, Five, release, now 10 presses, and 10, nine, squeezing eight, squeezing seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now open your feet about a fist apart only. Slip your head support to the side, head flat on your mat. We're gonna bridge. Inhale, prepare, pelvic curl. Squeeze the ball slightly and roll up to bridge. Stay in bridge for 10 presses, and 10, nine, 
eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold one, sink the chest, roll down bone by bone, unravel, release. Slip your head support back in, remove your ball to the side. Cross your right ankle over left thigh, thread through the middle and outside to grab the back of the left and pull it towards you for your little hip stretch. And you feel like your legs are in a number four position or you know, a crossover position here. And you wanna feel like, if you want, you can use your right elbow and just slightly press that right thigh open a little more. But careful you don't rock toward the crossed leg. Then you won't feel any stretch in the hip there. So make sure your pelvis, even though it's curled into a little bit of a pelvic curl, you don't want to rock to one side more than the other. All right, one more breath here. Exhale, release. Uncross and put the left foot over the right thigh, turning out the left knee. Thread through the middle and outside of the right leg to grab it. Pull it towards you and make sure you're not rocking toward one leg more than the other. But yes, you're curl, you are curling your tailbone and you're feeling that stretch on the back side of the hip here. Deep breaths. And release. Let's grab our band or a long twisted towel and we'll do our hamstring stretch. So slip your right foot in the center of the band. You're going to choke up a bit for this one. Pull the elbows to the mat. Again, we want a neutral pelvis and then once you've established neutral, you can either straighten the bottom leg or keep it slightly bent and then your top leg needs to go where it needs to go to keep into neutral and stretch in that position. Don't tuck because then you're not really getting the entire hamstring muscle. So be sure you're getting the tailbone lengthening and then find your stretch position. Hold and breathe, working on just letting the muscles elongate on their own as you hold the stretch. Deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth and then keep the legs straight as you turn the top foot inward. So I'm just rotating from the ankle so the bottom of my foot faces in and my stretch is on the outside of that lower leg. And keeping that foot turned in, legs slightly across the body as well, might intensify it a little bit or bring it more up the outside leg. And return to straight up foot to normal. Take a small bend of the knee and stretch it. And then open to that little bit of a side diagonal, being careful not to let your pelvis come off the mat. So anchor the pelvis in neutral as you open the leg and inner thigh stretch. And return to straight up and bring your bottom foot in. Carefully replace, always being safe about it. Check your tailbone down, neutral pelvis position for finding your stretch position. Then hold and just take some deep breaths, feeling the back of the leg stretching. Thinking of your foot standing on the ceiling as much as possible. Feeling the tailbone lengthening toward the bottom leg. Keeping the leg where it is, just turn the top of the bottom of your foot, turn it inward so the sole of your foot faces in toward your center body. Feel that stretch on the outside of the lower leg. And then if you are okay with it, go ahead and take it a little bit across the body as well. Turn to straight up foot to normal. Take a small bend and stretch. 
and then open to that little side diagonal, being careful not to let the pelvis go with it. Pelvis stays centered, leg, leg only up opens. Inhale, exhale, return up for one more breath. And bend both knees gently, release your tension, remove your band, rub out your hands. Grab behind the back legs, hug in. And roll to your side, grab your sitting pads, and come back to your seated neutral. Cross your legs in front, get up tall on those sitting bones, elongate your low back, your front belly, your side waist, take a couple of breaths, inhale, exhale, and again, inhale, float the hands to the thighs, exhale, notice how you feel, and have a great rest of your day. Thank you.